Siri, show me Kung Pao Brussels sprout recipe. This is the only one. The internet said so. Love them or hate them, sprouts are around everywhere this time of year and we have got an incredible Kung Pao Brussels sprout recipe that we're going to show you using Rockbox. Like all Kung Pao dishes, this is packed full of flavour, stunningly delicious and it's probably the best way to enjoy these little green nuggets of love. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to make is our sauce, our Kung Pao sauce. Two teaspoons of rice wine vinegar, two teaspoons of hoisin, we've got one teaspoon of soft brown sugar, tablespoon of soy sauce and a tablespoon of toasted sesame oil. So once they're all in there, just give it a little mix up. That's your sauce done. So we're not putting that in at the start of the dish. That's going to be used at the end. And that is going to bring us the most incredible jam packed umami flavor to the dish. OK, so for the marinade, the marinade for the sprouts, we're going to start with one tablespoon of soy sauce, two teaspoons of corn flour. So that's the corn flour that's going to form this paste when we add the sauce later on that's going to coat the sprouts really nicely. And then, because it's Christmas, and because you've probably bought a whole bottle for your nan who's probably drunk one glass, we're going to add a teaspoon of sherry as well. OK, so there's our marinade. It smells really festive. Lovely. Um, we're going to add our sprouts to that now. So I've got 200 grams of sprouts, and all I've done is halve those. And we're just going to pop those into the marinade, give them a little coat. So we've got five or six spring onions, and we're just going to chop the greens and the whites separately. So the greens we're going to chop up nice and fine, and the rest of the spring onion is going to go in later during the cooking process with the garlic, the ginger, the chilies, all those classic Kung Pao flavours. Cool, so you'll just be left with these little bits at the end, the little nuggets, the root. If you've got a deep fryer knocking about, deep fry these, and they taste like onion rings. Okay, next up we've got one red chilli here, so we're going to finely slice this, leave the seeds in. We want a little bit of heat to this. I'm being quite slow about this, but I can normally get this done during one verse and a chorus of Mariah Carey's All I Want For Christmas. So that's what you should be aiming for. Next up we've got two cloves of garlic. So we're going to slice the garlic, and we're going to do that with the ginger as well. We're going to chop it rather than grate it. That's going to mean that we get really nice textures running through, and those ingredients really get to sing in the recipe. We've cut the ginger into little strips, and then we're then going to chop those fine little dice and you want to end up with kind of about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half, which will seem like quite a lot to the amount of sprouts, but when it all comes together it will make sense and taste delicious. So we've got everything ready, we've got two rashers of streaky bacon cut into lardons. You can leave these out if you want, but the fat in the bacon gives us a really nice like extra level of flavour to everything, so if you do eat meat, leave it in. We've also got five dried red chillies and most importantly of all in any Kung Pao dish, we've got half a teaspoon of Szechuan pepper. So we're going to get the bacon into a cold pan and behind me is a preheated rock box and we're just going to turn the temperature down to the lowest setting. Okay, add a little bit of oil and get that bacon straight in. We want the fat in the bacon to kind of start rendering out with the oil. That's why we've turned the flame down. If we do this on full flame, it's just going to start burning before that fat's had a chance to render. So keep an eye on your bacon. You want it to kind of start to crisp up, but we don't want it to catch or burn yet. So at this point, we're going to add our five dried chilies and our half a teaspoon of Ooh, delicious Szechuan peppercorns. I'm just going to give those a little move around and pop them into rock box again for about 30 seconds, no more than that. And if you do want to do this as a vegetarian and leave the bacon out, just simply toast the Szechuan and the dried chilies for kind of 10, 20 seconds and then carry on with the rest of the recipe. So that smells completely different now, just that 10, kind of 20 seconds for the dried chilies and the Szechuan peppercorns. We want to remove the chilies, the bacon and the Szechuan, but we want to leave the fat. So make sure you use a slotted spoon here. And just make sure you get all those Szechuan peppercorns out, because if you leave them in now and you end up cooking them for another 10 minutes or so, they will get quite unpleasant. So we've got our sprouts here. They've been sat in this marinade for the whole process so for about 15 minutes or so. So that corn flour in the marinade will form almost like a skin on the bottom of the pan. So we're not really going to be frying these sprouts now. What we're relying on is that rolling flame. And that's what's going to toast them. That's what's going to cook them. That's what's going to char them up. That's what's going to make them delicious. Straight into rock box. And now we're going to turn the flame up to full again. So if you look at the sprouts now, you can see that corn flour's starting to form this little skin we were talking about, almost like a jam on the bottom. So you're going to want to disturb them, shake them pretty regularly. Just make sure that they're charring up nicely. They don't need too long. You want sprouts kind of al dente anyway. You want that crunch to them. But they'll be in there on high flame, so 500 degrees, 900 degrees Fahrenheit. They'll be in there on full flame for kind of three to four minutes. So we're starting to get a really nice colour, and these guys are just starting to soften up now. You're going to feel like you need to add more oil before everything else goes in, but don't, because you won't. 
our ginger, our garlic, our spring onions, all those things can go straight into the pan and just give them a little move around. So a good shake up and straight back in. So that'll be another two minutes or so as we just allow the ginger to soften a little bit, the garlic to cook out a little bit. So we're gonna work quite fast here. Now we're gonna add our bacon and our Szechuan and our chilies back to the pan. And then we're gonna add our sauce. The sauce is gonna start bubbling and sizzling and that's gonna form this really thick, really unctuous sauce. And you'll notice everything, especially the sprouts, go really shiny. And then get it straight onto the plate. You wanna get it out of the pan as quick as you can once that sauce has started to form, otherwise you'll lose it. And then a couple of final touches. So we've got our greens of the spring onions. And here we've got two teaspoons of toasted peanuts. There you go. Kung Pao Brussels sprouts. The finest Brussels sprouts you will eat this festive period, I promise. So what we've done here is we've worked nice and organized, okay? So we've chopped everything first and then fired up Rockbox and cooked this in kind of six minutes flat. It's super easy, it's super delicious. It's great with a bowl of rice if you want to share it for two, or if like me, you're just greedy, just make it and eat it. And if you do make them or any other recipe that we've shared on YouTube, make sure you share it with us. Take pictures, hashtag Gosney Kitchen, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all that stuff, because we want to see them. Happy Christmas. If you want to keep this vegetarian, vegetarian. Vegetarian. You want to keep this vegetarian. Vegetarian. Who blowing my nose?